Hello students, this is Prapti here and today I'm going to give you tips and strategies for all the board aspirants who are going to appear this time for the board exams. So today we'll discuss about the business studies, which is a theoretical subject. Now, if you want to score more, then how to increase your score in this subject? First of all, I would like to tell you that how to utilize your first 15 minutes, which you usually get before your exam attemptation. The thing is that uh, to utilize those 15 minutes, you need to prepare an action plan for this in which you have to formulate the strategies for this, which question you need to attempt and which you really not need to work hard on that questions that if you are a bit dicey that so and so question is a dicey one and I cannot score more on this. Keeping it aside, just formulate a plan, a blueprint of yours that how you're going to attempt the questions. So do not uh, just uh, turn your pages in that 15 minutes use it in the best way you can moving on to the type of the questions first we would like to pick the one marker questions the first 10 questions are the really important questions which usually students ignore but the thing is that these questions are very specific either it's a hundred percent yes either it's a hundred percent no so be very particular about it do not over attempt these questions Give to the point answers. It has to be just a one line answer or maximum to maximum one to two line answers. That's it. Do not over attempt it and do not waste your time on these questions over attempting it again and again. And you really need to keep the time management aspect in your mind when you are appearing for board exams. Coming on to the four to five, six mark questions. First thing I would like to mention here is that do not make the paragraphs. The more you make the paragraphs, it becomes monotonous for the examiner to check the answer sheets. So be particular that you make everything you mentioned there, it should be in points. It should like suppose if in a question it is asked that write the chain effects of a particular thing. You have to mention it in the points, not in the paragraphs. Do not create monotony for the examiners as well. It may put an impression on your marking scheme and headings is a must please give the headings specify it underline it and also write the keywords please underline the keywords when you are uh, mentioning the particular heading and then writing up further explaining it underline the keywords so that the examiner gets a point that whether you are going off field the question or you are on the right track. He gets to know that what kind of knowledge you are having regarding the answer and also it increases the, it saves the time of the examiner and increases your score. Coming to the opinionated questions, be very particular in these kind of questions. It is again your opinion, nothing to be explained more. Either it's a complete agree, disagree or it is a Or it is a disagree right so you do not need to be ironical and you do not need to be dicey in these kind of questions if you are answering such kind of questions one thing you are mentioned in the first line another thing is a bit dicey and proves that is ironical then it's a no from the examiner you have to be very particular in that be on a single standpoint give your standpoint give your hundred percent and just verify it Coming to the value based questions, now this is something the students have phobia, but actually these are the questions which can be a more score for you. How? It is basically the implementation of theoretical knowledge into the practical one. Suppose in a question is given, you have you you aren't able to like get into the question that what is the actual condition here. The main thing here is the conditions. Every question has a condition. If I talk about the case studies, there is there has to be some condition where you have to come up with the results according to the conditions mentioned in the question. So what you have to do is you really need to read the question twice, thrice or even the four time 
the more you read the question you'll get to know and while reading the question please underline the keywords it's the same like the comprehension passage whenever we read a comprehension passage we underline the keywords and so that we get to know that what is being talked in the paragraph and what is the theme of the paragraph same goes with the case studies while reading the case studies underline the keywords that what has been talked in the case studies and whether it's a value-based question you get to know that what is the actual condition and how you have to come up with the results so please focus on this coming to the presentation skills now this is something that you really need to work hard on see uh, the knowledge is something you can cram it you can understand it you can be a bookworm you can go through n number of books and you get ample of knowledge you can the plus point here is going to be your presentation skills now how you can improve your presentation skills today i would like to pick up two uh, two main key points that how to pick up the uh, pick up your uh, this improvement in this presentation skills so first i would like to talk about differentiate between questions now if there is something question uh, there is a, some question related to differentiate between then the first thing you have to keep in your mind is it has to be in the tabular form do not write it up in the paragraphs and differentiate please give it in a tabular presentation so that it puts a great impression on the answer sheets in the examiner as well and while formulating in a tabular form do write the basis of difference now basis of difference are same like the headings it works as a lifesaver for you the examiner get to know that uh, the student has ample of knowledge that how he has differentiated the two things right so do mention the basis of difference without this it is none of the use to answer such questions and another thing is that while writing up these kind of questions give maximum point of differences as much as you can suppose it is a four mark question and you ended up writing three bases of difference then again you have to work on one more and if you are not getting the other point of difference then one thing that is going to save you is examples you can even mention examples as your basis of difference so that it gives a more clarity to the examiner that something you have coded up with an example it's an adding advantage for you coming on the flowcharts now flowcharts gives the quality to your answers how if i talk about economics business economics diagram is the one that improves your presentation skills in the answer sheets and if i talk about business studies it is only the flow chart that improves your presentation skills if i talk about hierarchical questions then the questions related to departmentalization divisional structures and different type of structures you can draw up the flow charts it puts a great impression and it decreases your possibility of chances of deducting marks from such kind of questions as it is a theoretical subject it is next to impossible to give full marks in these kind of subjects so you can increase your score by improving your presentation skill again flowchart is again a lifesaver for you here it is going to give you maximum marks flowchart how you have to formulate it in a very neat and clean way giving a wide division of the subjects or the elements so that it gives a clarity another thing i would like to mention here is that supposing uh, there comes a situation that you are left with very few minutes to wind up your this answer sheet so what you what you can do is that you can uh, supposing there is a question and you are left with just two minutes to write it so it is next to impossible to cover up all the points so you what you can do is you can draw up a flow chart give one one line introduction to every element or heading over there it is again going to <clears throat> sorry it is again going to increase your score <clears throat> okay another important instruction i would like to mention here is that please attempt all the questions do not miss any question because it is a cbic can tip and step marking is going to save you from this as we're having step marking concept over here so please attempt all the questions do not get a phobia in your mind that so and so six marks question for my or one mark question i do not need to attempt it don't go with such kind of mindset please attempt all the questions it's very important for you okay now practice ncrd ncrd this time is a bible for you the more you practice 
the important thing is that go through the headings of ncrt if you write up the same headings as ncrt the examiner just goes through the heading and he is very well uh, versed with this thing that it gives a satisfaction to the examiner that yes the student has done a thorough study of the subject time management now time management is the one thing that students usually lack the thing is that if you are uh, if you have a particular action plan those 15 minutes are going to save you for this time management thing the time management uh, for this time management you need to have a very good strategy a good action plan a good writing skills then your speed also matters so this is something you really need to prepare before your exams so start practicing it from day one only Okay, I wish you very good luck for your exams. I hope you people excel in your life and go ahead with more marks. Thank you.